Welcome back to another quick tutorial. Um, this is gonna be a fairly vague tutorial. Um, somebody asked in the other feedback video how to make two players um face each other. Um, there's probably like a bunch of different ways to do it depending on what you're trying to do with that. But I'll give you like the basic um um the basic way. What? Well, uh, sorry, I'll give you the basic mm, fundamentals that you would need to to do that depending on what you're using that for. So, here I have two dummies. I have the red dummy. <laughs> and I have the blue dummy, okay? Um, and as you can see, they're both facing away from each other. The red dummy's looking this side, and the other dummy, the blue dummy's looking that side, looking that direction, right? We want to make these two face each other. So, one um, way that I would do it, the way that I would do it, right, is, let's open up the script real quick. We're just gonna reference the two dummies, so equal B1, equal workspace ampersand. So we're gonna do what? Dummy one. And local uh, local B2 equals workspace console child dummy two. Okay. B1. Uh, as you can see, in both of the dummies, right? Both of their primary parts is the human root part. And basically, for positioning characters and like player player models and stuff like that, um, usually moving their uh, moving their human root part is what gets them to move around or rotate around or whatever, right? So since this since both the, d the dummies' um, primary parts are the primary, are, uh, I cannot speak. I'm sorry, but since basically since the um, both primary parts of the dummies, right? Is already set to the human root part. There's no need to reference it. So what we can do is, we can basically change their orientation using their primary part. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do d1 dot primary part dot c frame dot look. Uh, no, I should say look. Is it? Um, I think it's look at right. That's not the point. We can do um. So d1 dot primary part dot c frame equals C frame dot new. We're gonna do D two dot oh sorry D D two dot position and then we're gonna do the exact same thing for oh wow. Yeah, we're gonna do the exact same thing for um the second one. So D two and then D one. So now if we take this code and then we paste it inside of our little uh plugin right here. You see that with this. Oh, okay, my bad. So um, D two dot primary part dot position right, and then D one dot primary part dot primary part dot position. Okay, copy this, paste this in here, and then run that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> so we forgot one more argument. So basically, C frame takes in two arguments: the first one being the position, the second one being the orientation. We forgot to set the position. So the position is gonna stay. The position for the first dummy is gonna stay as its position. So d one dot primary part dot position, and then the second argument is gonna be um where we wanted to look at. So basically, all right, let me paste this for the second one. So we do d two dot primary part dot position. So basically, um, C frame takes two arguments. The first one is gonna be the position, um, position, and the second one is gonna be the orientation. Okay. Um, to make an object look at another object, you would have to set the orientation vector to that object that you want to look at. So in this case, we're taking the first dummy's character. Setting the position to the the position it's already at, and then making it look at this position. In this case, we're making it look at this dummy. We're gonna take this dummy, set it to the exact same position, and make it look at this dummy right here. If that makes sense. So now, if we run this code right here, okay, boom. See how their faces flipped? So now they're looking at each other. If I move it like this, boom, they're looking at each other. Okay. If I move them like here, and I run the same script. Boom, they're facing facing each other. Okay? 
um, there's many more um, things you can do with this because if I move it up here, it's gonna make them face each other, but like it's also gonna um, rotate their, you see what I'm saying, their the y axis. Um, you might not want this, but there's a different way to do this without rotating like the without rotating this axis right here. You can only you can also make it where you can just rotate like this axis, so it stays still stays facing up, but then um, do that. But I'll go more in depth into that on another video. I just want to make this short, short and quick. I uh, hope this helps you, or at least gives you some type of an idea for you to like piece it together on your own. But if not, I'll make a full video on this uh, shortly. So not shortly, but whenever I make the video, <laughs> I'll make a full video on this soon. So hopefully this can help you for now.